vengeful, vengeful indignation. indignation. Accessing Interfleet Holo Terminal. Access complete. Security code. Security code. Security code. Arrow to me. Starting transfer. Arrow to me. Hi, it's Tom from Vengeful Indignation. This is our first podcast. We're really excited about it. With me in studio, I have uh, Lou and Rob. Lou is the other raid leader, and Rob, of course, is our exalted leader. I don't know. I'm not real sure what name he goes by. What what name do you want to be called, Rob? Um, Supreme Commander of Allied Forces. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, okay. So, anyway, we're not going with that. How about that? All right. Uh, in this first thing, we were gonna go. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna go over. Uh, we got two two raid groups, by the way. A phenomenal start for the guild, anyway. Um, and uh, we're gonna go over each raid group. I'm gonna go first uh, for group. I, I'm not sure how we designated this. I guess group one or group A or B. It doesn't matter. We got two. Um, and this week, uh, group one or my group actually went into uh, heroic mode for uh, Eternity Vault. So that was a big step for us. Really, really proud of the people that went in there. Um, we had a little bit of trouble at the start, um, especially with the turrets. Uh, um, I had a plan, and it turned out not to be the best plan. But uh, by the time we uh, revised that plan, it, it, it came out well. Uh, we actually beat everything down to the puzzle. We ran into a problem at the puzzle because um, uh, it actually bugged on us. Uh, we weren't able to turn the... Uh, the uh, the uh, dials like we thought we should be able to, but that's kind of where we left off. Um, so this Sunday uh, coming up, uh, we will be going back in there, and I'm not sure if we're going to keep going on heroic mode. I, this is my plan, um, and Rob will probably counter command me because that's what he does. Uh, and until we get stopped, and then we can maybe flip it back. But I at least want to do the first four or five bosses, however far we can do in heroic mode, to get those ricotta pieces to really kind of gear our folks up. Um, and uh, then just work from there. Uh, we went into the uh, uh, the hut hospitality, uh, the new instance with the guy with the crazy hat at the end. Um, we actually didn't. Ha- we ran out of time the last time we were in there. Uh, just got one or two looks at him. And but uh, I think he's going to be pretty easy. What do you guys think about Haragi? You guys have been in there. What do you guys think of him? Oh, he's a pushover. Come on. I haven't actually seen him, so I can't really give you any feedback. But I'm just gonna say he's a pushover, just to make you look bad. That's right. He is. Uh, he was a big pushover. Thank God we suck so bad. I blame. Uh, I blame Rob mostly. <laughs> mostly. Okay. Well. Anyway, Lou, where are you guys at? Uh, as far as raid type. Well, this is Lou, and again, uh, I'm, I'm I'm raid leader of group two, and we're not group two because we suck worse than group one. No, please don't get that. Uh, Number two. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. Yeah, we're just number two. We're number two because we had latecomers and we've decided to run, actually, uh, the guild wanted to be a one eight-man group, but we actually recruited more people, so we decided to uh, come up with a second group, and I'm leading that group. We started raiding last week. We went in on the Sunday only, and we got all the way to Soa. We didn't beat him that week because we ran out of time. We went in again this week, one shot at everything, including Soa, then went into the palace and one shot at everything up to the bounty hunters. We're going back to Sun, and hopefully we'll kill uh, Karaga before Group One does, and we'll be declared the better group in the guild. We are looking for a ranged at this point, so yeah, if you want to join the guild and be our ranged, not Group One's ranged, I bet you Group Two is going to be better than Group One. Has nothing to do with numbers, guys. I'm just saying, um, um, we got a guy who uh, who has uh, tracing missiles. <laughs> That's all I got to say. <laughs> all right, pro- <laughs> hey, hey, Primus. Uh, okay, it's, uh, oh, excuse me. Uh, I, I call Rob Primus because I don't live in the real world. Uh, Rob, uh, we ran into a little bit of trouble. Um, we got real lazy because in uh, regular modes on the dungeons, they uh, actually allocate uh, gear for you. And it's kind of weird allegation. We had a lot of people who had like eight pieces, and I've only got one. So I'm pretty pissed off about the whole damn thing. Uh, but Rob, can you kind of give us a sense of what you think of doing it with the gear as we go forward in heroic mode? So could you can actually piecemeal it out. What uh, I mean, I think what we've actually talked about in the past, and we've done is what's been successful um, is uh, loot council. But I think I want to be a little more liberal with it as far as it goes with this guild. Um, we just base it plainly off of who's gotten what, you know, not not so much attendance or performance, but just, you know, who needs what, but who's, you know, like, 
say for instance, you know, in, in regular, I've gotten a ton of pieces, so, you know, I would definitely pass for someone else, regardless of how much I get in that, that raid. That's the mentality I, I want to kind of bring. Okay, you, you, you say the loot councils. I, I, for one, don't know what that is. Uh, can you tell us some of our members what you mean by that? Basically, what will happen is if a piece of loot drops um, within officer chat, within the officer corps, we'll, uh, we'll talk amongst each other and, uh, and say, okay, well, uh, this person you know, has gotten this before. We, we don't leave it up to a uh, need for greed system just simply because some people, you know, hey, that's, that's an upgrade. I'm going to get it. And, and that's what happens. And that's just human nature. So what we want to do is, is kind of have a control. And uh, instead of saying, oh, okay, well, uh, you know, this guy, he missed Tuesday of last week. Let's let's give it to this guy, even though he already got something. We're not going to do that. We're just, you know, we're all friends here, and we just want to make sure that everybody's geared because, it's, you know, it's all for the greater good. Well, I, I think, I don't know, yeah, that's a slippery slope there, greater good thing. But uh, uh, I think we did well. Uh, the first few weeks out the box, we got two rating groups, guys. Come on, that's pretty phenomenal. So I'm pretty pumped about that already. I think that the guild is doing pretty damn well, and actually it's uh, surpassed what, what we're expecting to do with it. And the loot council thing kind of works really nicely, but then again, um, there is only one officer in group two, which is, by the way, again, the better group. <laughs> so, uh, the council thing maybe a slippery slope, just like you said. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. And group one, we really don't need gear because we're all skill based. So, I, I really don't see it being much of a problem for group one either. <laughs> uh, yeah, group two doesn't need the gear either, but they're all. Uh, oh crap! You said skill based, right? I can't be that. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. You gear. can you can go ahead and copy me, man. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> 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 Alright guys, that's it for uh, the first podcast from Vengeful Indignation. Indig- Thank you for that really long second name, by the way, that I had to like stumble through, Rob. I really appreciate that. I had nothing to do with that. It's easy to pronounce. Indignation. Okay, Indignation. That's why he's the guild leader. Alright guys, for uh, Lou, Rob, and me, Tom, we'll see you uh, next week.